Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Before I do start, I thought I'd give this announcement to you guys. Uh, something new, something new that uh, I've decided I'm going to start in terms of uh, what I do on my channel. So if you actually see, you can see the lighting looks different. It's it's looking a little dark. What you actually cannot see is I have kind of upgraded my studio slightly. I have a new boom, uh, really highly durable microphone stand. I'll be... I've four lights one two three four four lights and i'm going to get some more lights i'll, I'll give you a studio tour sometime later uh, i still have to get two more lights plus i have to get the new sure microphone uh, i am getting a mixer and i'm also getting a uh, you know all these add-ons special thanks to vishwa dave who's uh, part of my member group he connected me with the professionals from the studio AV industry. So he's based in India. Vishwa, if you're listening, thank you very much for connecting me with the right professionals. Um, they really uh, took their time to give me guidance as to what I need to do in terms of microphone, in terms of mixer. Uh, some of them recommended I go for a very advanced, uh, the thing spent thousands of dollars. But then I balanced it out between you know, the fact that I'm not going to have a podcast, I'm just going to be me, okay? So even the mixer, for example, the mixer, uh, I do not need multiple channels. I just need one single channel just for me to speak. Then in terms of lighting, I don't need to spend uh, thousands of dollars because what am I going to use it for? And I know many of you also said that, you know, I never noticed your lighting or I never noticed the shade on your eyes. But the thing is, when you do work, Let's say this is my work. This is my full-time thing. I want to make sure that uh, every year, at least, I'm giving the best. So, you know, small, small upgrades. It's not like uh, I'm just starting my YouTube channel and I'm just going to give you the best studio and the best graphic designing. In fact, if you notice, my videos are rather simple. Very, very simple. I just speak. Okay. Um, so... The, the focus will always be content because at the end of the day, the content is what matters, okay? And no, I'm not going to go into only like just a juicy gossip kind of content. I'll, I, I would like to balance it out. So this new format, okay, so first thing is the studio upgrade. I'll be having a separate video um, where I'll show you, take you through a tour. I'll show you what all lights I bought, what all stands I bought, how I'm fixing it. And then if any one of you is a professional and he feels, oh, no, law, you're doing this the wrong way, please feel free to get in touch with me and guide me if you want, if you want. You don't have to uh, because uh, end of the day, I am literally going to uh, figure out a way to get this sorted out. Now, the one request that I do have for you guys, that is, if you are regular viewers or watchers of my channel, if there is any online course, online course of setting up lights or uh, let's say using Final Cut Pro because I use Final Cut Pro. I'm thinking of buying Logic uh, Logic Pro X. It's not expensive, but uh, the, the question is spending $200, will I use it? And the reason I want to buy that is because would it help in terms of my sound? I'm still not happy with my vocals. You know, some of them have uh, this announcer sound Ladies and gentlemen, this is, you know, they, they go in the radio kind of sound. I want to play around with the sound because I used to be a DJ. I used to be an anchor. Those days I used to have a mixer. So now I'm getting the show microphone, uh, which is a very different SM7B uh, microphone, which, uh, you know, cancels out all the huss and hiss and everything else from the background. It only takes the voice. It is used by, uh, you know, everyone from Joe Rogan to anybody else. So I decided, okay, the Rode microphone is good. It's a USB microphone, but this will be an XLR. Don't mind. I know maybe the technical stuff is a little bit over your head, but I'm, I'm just telling you that uh, I want to upgrade this. So I want to learn how to use it. So if there is any course online that teaches you how you can use 
plugins. Plugins are the effects, if in case you do not know. If you don't know, then just ignore it, okay? One is uh, the plugins, one is the audio, a little bit of audio engineering, not too advanced, a little bit of lighting. If there is any online course, do let me know um, what it is. I'll just, you know, if it is worth, I'll definitely subscribe. Or if you are an industry professional who knows a little bit here and there and, uh, you know, you just like to chip in because you watch the videos that I share and you say, okay, you know, you're doing something for us. I'll do something for you. I would appreciate. If you want a shout out, I can definitely give you a shout out. Like I uh, give a special thanks to Vishwa Dev. Uh, he really went out of the way. Uh, young chap uh, in his early 30s, I think. Yeah, great guy. And he's still giving me feedback. Not everything that he uh, shares is, uh, you know, is the stuff that I will use. But it feels great to know that he's in touch with uh, industry professionals. So, yeah, the second thing which I wanted to share was uh, the, um, what is that, uh, the course. And if you know any online course or any online pro or any professional who can get in touch with me and give me some of the expertise or guidance uh, in terms of this, um, you know, you can tell me. And if in case some of you feel that, you know, you have to pay me in, in terms of taking my advice, uh, feel free to let me know, okay, this is my consulting charges. If you want my expertise, if I feel you're an industry leader, you have, I don't know, uh, you have some way for me to verify that you are, uh, maybe a YouTube channel or blogs or whatever. I don't mind, you know. And yes, uh, while I'm still at it, if there is anyone who makes a living uh, as a social media expert, okay, not the typical bookish, you know, uh, you know SEO or you know YouTube or change your title, make your thumbnail great, all this cliche advice I don't need. If someone actually makes a living where uh, you can improve the subscriber base, quality, I'm not talking of big numbers. There are many people I know, I don't want to name them, uh, who have, let's say they've managed to get 100,000 subscribers within, I don't know, three months, three months or four months, which is great. Uh, but then when you see the engagement, you begin to question, is this all legit or are they just got, uh, you know, bots? So sometimes that question also comes. Then there is one who stays in Kosamui, like me. But this person has got, I think, uh, is nearly going to half a million subscribers. And every video is like crossing half a million, one million, two million. That is very, very suspicious. So I don't want someone who gives fake engagement. I want quality engagement. So if there is anyone who has experience and expertise in terms of paid ads or uh, you know, YouTube ads, please uh, get in touch with me there. Then uh, last and final announcement that I want to give you guys is, like I said, I'll be making these videos where uh, you'll see my computer screen. You'll see my computer screen and I'll be sitting here and I'll be giving my opinion. So if in case you have any topics or you have any articles or you have any incidents that you want me to talk about and give my opinion, feel free to get in touch with me. The ideal way the best way would be to comment below the videos because there i always see it the second option if you feel oh no it might get lost or it's not showing up because youtube's algorithm sometimes acts a little funny you can send me as an email at loymesida.com i always check them or my whatsapp okay but keep in mind i may not be able to respond to each and every email because like i told you i get around 1600 emails messages uh, notifications it's too much it's too much uh, i can i skim through it even your comments if you actually notice the comments i not only like but i also what do you say put a heart that is to show you that i've read your comment but obviously i read fast there are some of them i do respond to not all of them and uh, i will continue doing this in a uh, you know to show you that i really do value you guys so Obviously, when it goes to a certain, you know, it, it reaches a certain point, I'll not be able to do it anymore. Okay. And uh, have I left out anything? Yeah. Last uh, two or three bits. One is, uh, um, you know, I've been putting these job vacancies for, you know, stuff that is online. Um, at first, I thought these were jokes, but people are actually sending um, a request where they want to start in pornos, they want to start in adult movies, or they're saying, can you get in touch with the sugar daddy? These, real, huh? um, uh, these are not bots. 
they are actually some of them are even sharing their passport details and saying i'm looking at sugar daddy i'm i don't mind going sex you want i'll send you my nudes and this and that see even though i get in touch with people from all walks of life whether adult movies or directors or sugar daddies who are looking for girls it's not a service that i want to provide and i don't want to get into this because uh, you know obviously for obvious reasons it's not my line of expertise and there are risks involved so i request you please don't send me um, your resumes and your passport copies and tell me i i get so many i get so many it's it's not even funny anymore i i think uh, it's the new culture that is there this only fans oh how can i make money in only fans i i tell them i i don't know I, i'm not on only fans if you ask me youtube that's a different thing and i can charge you a service for it but you talk about porno and you talk about only fans i mean uh, and yeah the worst part our sugar daddy i don't mind sleeping with them in fact i even got uh, i think just a few days ago uh, a filipina who said uh, I don't mind uh, traveling with the guy provided he pays everything he pays my stay my travel you know and I like him I don't mind uh, going with him as a date but he has to pay me per day uh, this is not to put them down okay fine these are services people provide there's a there's a uh, there's a market for all this but please I'm not the guy for it okay and uh, the only other thing is uh, what is this uh, uh, yeah please uh, I I offer services for resume rebrand, personal coaching, personal branding. You know there are a couple of avenues and areas. Yes, yeah, some people come with their relationships. Some people come with depression and all that. And if you book my services as a client, and if it is something I can offer you, I say yes. But before I even take any client, I always tell them, see, listen, tell me first what it is that you want my services for. if it is something that i cannot give i tell him listen this is not my area of expertise like i i got a guy wanted my advice on investing and crypto he was he wanted to book a, a 30 minute session then there is one guy who wanted to pay me for a 15 minute session a student who said i want to run away from india i mean how <laughs> listen there are some things i can advise many things i cannot and yes one last thing please don't book my session for uh, trying to convert me to your religion whether it's islam or christianity um, mainly i get from muslims and uh, they are not bad people they say lord i'd like to book a session with you to tell you about islam okay i i do not know how many times i have to keep telling you this i was in uae uae is a muslim country and there are plenty of good muslims there are plenty of places where they teach you the quran there are plenty of people who have dedicated their entire lives from childhood studying quran teaching quran preaching quran and living uh, the quran okay so you being a part timer i'm pretty sure you do not know more than them and i've told you this before i am an atheist doesn't mean i hate religions i don't hate re- i hate bad ideas i hate bad concepts and i hate uh, you know anything that can hurt or harm anyone okay so having said that this is these are some of the announcements that i wanted to give you let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think good bad ugly uh, and feel free to share with me your ideas because uh, whenever you have an idea or whenever you have a suggestion i absolutely do read them so these are some of the announcements let me know what do you think and i will definitely be reading them down below having said that let me know what do you think of these is this lighting good is it not good is the sound good has it improved and yes like i said in the next few days you're going to see bit more changes so uh, would love to hear your thoughts comment down below this is me signing off you guys take care ciao